Oh, hey, how's everybody doing? We have a different spot today. I don't know how I feel about this spot. It's making my lighting really awesome. Um, also, like, not feeling that great today, as you can see. Um, but we're still showing up. Yay, us! Fantastic. So I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Rebecca Packard. We're taking time out for peace. We are taking four minutes to meditate and hold space and to show up for ourselves, to show up for us, to show up for stillness and to breathe and connect and do all the things, to reset, to regroup, to reground and to redirect our energy. And so wherever you are, wherever you're doing, I ask that you get settled, you get grounded, You come into this moment and just allow yourself to put everything else on the back burner. Let everything else just fall away. Let everything else just, if you need to see yourself, put it on a bookshelf or see yourself, put it in a bag into the side of you, whatever you need to do to make that a thing, go ahead and do it right now. And just breathe into the moment, breathe into now, breathe into the here, into the now, into this moment, into this time. And then connect with the energy of peace. And when I say connect with the energy of peace, if you're new to meditation, if you're new to this, just for you, maybe that means saying peace over and over and over again. Um, if you've been doing this a while, you're like, bam, here I am, I'm in peace, here we go. Um, but if you're new to this, that might be you envisioning maybe waves or a candle or your favorite stuffed animal from when you were a child or a scenery that makes you feel peaceful or that you um, creates peace within you and then imagine that in your head just use your imagination your imagination is the strongest thing you have in creating exactly what you want and so when we utilize our imagination we are empowering ourselves to get what we want so imagine peace imagine being peaceful imagine being in that space that you are envisioning whether that is a forest filled with trees and birds that are singing and the sun is shining or maybe it's a desolate beach where no one else is and it's just you and the waves crashing at your feet and the sound of the ocean or maybe it's you being in outer space whatever that is for you go there do that embrace it envelop it become it and then breathe breathe it in give lots of options today because of this Gemini energy has kind of got a lot of us feeling a little wonky we'll talk about that after but in this moment see both of those twins from that Gemini energy coming together on either side of you and holding your hands and you being the link in between them to create the chain of balance to be the energy of balance to be the anchor, the foundation of balance and peace. When you have peace, you create balance. You cannot have balance without peace. You can try all you want, but there's resistance. There's a lot of other emotions and it just doesn't work out. But when you embrace peace, you create balance. It's why we do this each and every day. It's why we show up in this space each and every day. It's why we practice this each and every day. Because there's so many things around us that can take us out of balance. There's so many different things that are swirling around our heads, in our heads, in our worlds, inside and outside 
that take us out of this balance that we so desire and crave and want because we feel amazing when we come to balance. We feel unstoppable, we feel empowered, we feel connected. That is because we are in the energy of divine presence. That is because we are in the energy of our true self. That is because we are connected to all things in the I am as we are the I and the am. And so when we sit in stillness in this peace and we just embrace it like a blanket wrapping around us, we connect in that space. There's nothing more for us to do. Fantastic. Wonderful. I'm so glad that so many of you are taking time out each and every day to show up in this space, to show up for peace, to show up, to reset, to regroup, to rebalance, to redirect your energy, to be in the space of your truth and to empower yourselves. We are encouraging ourselves to create this foundation for us to grow from. We're also increasing our immune system. We are balancing our immune system. We are balancing our brains, which means we are more focused. We are more energized. There's all these incredible benefits that come from this. And so taking this time out and doing that really does so much more than have you sit in silence or sit and listen and be still. Um, I know that some people don't really see that in all the ways that it is but there are studies after studies and more and more and more today which is so awesome that more and more um, universities and um, different things are studying the effects of meditation and the incredible um, side effects that it has something that you do want the side effects from right so i love you have a fantastic day we will see you here tomorrow enjoy um, oh, I did say that we were going to talk about the Gemini energy and that is that our sun and moon were both in Gemini and that can be a little overwhelming for some people, especially if your Gemini energy is out of balance. Things that you can do that can balance your Gemini energy are grounding meditations, root meditations, um, root chakra meditations. Um, and then just literally doing this meditation where you're seeing yourself bringing those two aspects of the Gemini energy together and balancing them out and having them connect and having them do what you need them to do and not what they want to do because we are the conscious creator of our world. So again, I love you and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye!